Yo, what's up everybody? Okay, so today I'm doing a brand new series. It's called Pro Tips with a Pro. So I haven't played a competitive match in like two years. I've been focusing on casting and you know making content, all that good stuff. And dude, I just realized I was like, bro, I'm getting more washed by the day. So I figured, hey, rather than you know me practicing and putting in all those hours, why don't I just go straight to the source? You know, talk to some of the pros that are out there and get some of their advice. So that's what the start of this is, is pro tips with a pro. And today I got a great player uh, on here to show you guys everything that, you know, makes him who he is, you know? So, uh, Ogilvy Glass. What's up, homie? Hi, Jukes. Hi, everyone. Dude, dude, thanks for coming on, bro. Like, straight up. I know this is uh, kind of a last-second thing, dude, but I appreciate you showing up here and, you know, willing to come on the channel and tell the world, you know, what you're about. Yeah, of course, of course, anything. It's got to help out the community more. Dude, badass, dude. I mean, I, straight up, like, I've been watching you in PNPL, dude, and I'm like, dude, this guy's been crushing it. So what do you feel like is, like, your main role in the team? Well, um, so Natsu, our other main player, he's the IGO, and I'm, like, sub IGLing, give him good calls and rotation, stuff like that. And I just try to get in three knocks or get a knock with two during fights. That's all. So what phone are you playing on right now? Well, I'm playing on an XR. It's not that great of a device. If you want to get a new phone, I definitely don't recommend it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not sponsored, right? <laughs> <laughs> nope. Hey, PUBG Mobile is sponsoring today's video. A big thank you to them. And if you think the events they've done in the past were insane, wait till you see this. <laughs> this is the worst. <laughs> no way. Yes. PUBG Mobile's 13 days of Halloween is happening right now. Yeah. They've already given away a ton of stuff and they're going to continue to be giving it away from now until October 29th. Hold on. Head over to the 13 days of Halloween event website. A, uh, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash AMG dot games forward slash Halloween to enter for your chance to win a ton of cool prizes. Now here is where it gets big, you know. Uh, I am gonna be hosting a stream on PUBG Mobile's official channel, uh, official YouTube channel, that's right, on the official YouTube channel tomorrow, October 23rd. And I'm gonna wear a costume. I'm gonna wear a costume, it's gonna be sick, but on October 29th, there's gonna be the grand finale, baby. The grand finale! Where I am finally gonna be playing with none other than the legend, the two-time, Dr. Disrespect. Who will Doc choose <laughs> to play on his team, huh? Is he gonna play with me? Uh, this doesn't sound like it. Uh, for the final match, huh? Match up, match up. Yeah. <laughs> Correct guesses will increase your odds to win AirPod Pros or an iPhone. And everybody likes that. Remember to tune into the 13 Days of Halloween finale, including, of course, the legend, Dr. Disrespect. It's gonna be hype on October the- on- on October the 29th at 5 p.m. PT. Watch it on the official PUBG Mobile YouTube channel. All right, guys, let's get back to the video. Okay, yeah. so right now, to be clear, all the settings and everything we're about to show is on an iPhone XR, right? Yep. Okay, so if you guys, you know, that have an iPhone XR, I mean, you're looking at what a pro does, right? So, like, let's get into it. So, why don't we first start off with your control layout, you know? Um, what okay. do you play? You play Claw? Uh, paw. Yeah, I play five finger claw. With five fingers. Five fingers, yeah, with three fingers on the left and two on the right. Get out of town, dude. Okay, all right. Well, let's go ahead and bring it up right now so we can see what your layout is like. So, if you mind, like, break it down for me. Like, why this layout in particular? Well, so like in the beginning, I watched a lot of Chinese pro players play competitive, and a lot of them use this control, and I just started getting into it. So. Was there a particular like player that you were following like super hard? Well, it's a Chinese classic player that I know of. His name is Wan Q. Mm. I don't know if you guys have heard of him. Yeah, yeah he's pretty famous. Yeah. Badass, dude. Badass. Okay, so five finger, dude. What made you start like playing five finger? Oh, back in the day, when it's like season three or four, 
a lot of players were still playing dumbs and no gyro, and I just felt like I could do more. It was just, I see all these mechanics that Chinese players use, and I just wanted to do them too, so I just started doing it. Sick, dude. Okay, so speaking <laughs> of gyro, right? Full gyro, I'm assuming? Yeah, full gyro. Got it, got it, got it. Ha, it's a must. It's a must, right? Yeah. Okay. So, um, I think the best way to kind of do this is like, all right, we got your controls. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys his sensitivities right now. So this is what his sensitivities look like. Remember, it's going to vary on every device that you use. He plays on iPhone XR. So um, do you? what do you feel about your sensitivity? Like, do you have anything that, like, just looking at these numbers that you feel is just, like, so different compared to anywhere else or, like, anything that's super important? Oh, um, well, I feel like my, sens my sensitivity is unique because I have my – um, CQC gun like the UMP M4 M7 high so that in CQC you can kind of flake and aim at different targets at the same time. Well, I'm a sniper, so I have low sense for snipers, and like that kind of gives you stability and you can aim better at a boy. long range. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, love it. I love it. Okay, so so do you? So you're you customizing every gun? Yeah, basically. <laughs> Dude, because I have, I've I only been customizing snipers. So, like, what's like the the big reason why? Well, because back in the day when you couldn't do that, I was struggling to have like a good sniping sense with like a good AR sense together. Dude, mix. no joke. I, I have high sense for AR, and it's impossible to do when you want to have low sense for sniping. Dude, totally yeah. makes sense, bro. I can't. I remember the day like it came out for like sniper rifles, and I just would like I put my hands in the air. I was like, "Let's freaking go, baby!" You know. So, yeah, I was excited too. I know that's so sick, dude. That's so sick. Okay, well, how about this? Not about what you. Not about you. Okay. I'm trying to help me. Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah, okay. So like, uh, let's go ahead and hop in the game, so uh, you can kind of look at what I got going on, and then tell me where I where I'm choking. Okay. All right, all right. All right, sounds good. Let's do it. All right, we're in the game. So, bro, all right. Let's go ahead and dive straight into the settings. You can tell me where I'm throwing, all right? So, off the bat, I am a phone player, right? Full claw gyro. Give you some yep. context. And uh, first thing you see that's just messed up, what do you think? Oh, how about this? Aim assist. On or off? I mean, it has to be off. If you want to improve your aim a lot, you should have it off. That's right, dude. Okay. <laughs> Yes, sir. No name assist, kids out there. Nope. Turn it off. All right. Okay. What else? Anything else you see that's like particularly? I'm gonna go down slowly. Okay. Yeah. Um. Always on. Peak. Do you play on? How many fingers do you play? Four. Four finger claw. Four. Okay. Okay. Then it's okay. Never mind. Okay. Cool. 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 What are you gonna say? Well, I was going to say, if you play, like, four or five fingers that you're, like, really smooth, you can have your leans on hold, so Ooh. it can make your peak faster, and that's what I do. Put the lean mode on hold, huh? Hold. Yeah, if you have it on hold, you can definitely peak way faster. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Okay. Okay. If you said it's faster, then I'm, I'm all about it. I'm all about it. Okay, what about the, you know, camera rotation while leaning? Um... Uh, Camera rotation while leaning. Question. I mark? have that off. You have that off? I have that off. Yeah, because if I'm like pressing on my leans, I don't want to like go all over the place while leaning, you know? Makes my... sense. Makes yeah. sense. Okay, so everybody that's just like, for that don't understand, camera rotation while leaning means that if you hit the lean button, you can still aim, right? Yeah. You, you can, can still move. move. So turning that off means the second you hit that button, you cannot do anything. But if you're a full gyro, it's okay. If you're not full gyro, yeah. You hit that button, you ain't going to be able to move, you know? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So turn that off. Anything here? Any aim features, bro? Any aim features? Um, not really. They, they seem pretty good. Okay. Gyroscope. Swab. Oh, 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 yeah. One, two, three. Always on. <laughs> it's just FPP oh. swap. Yes, right? And the perspective thing. That's new to the game. What about it? Like the TV POV. Did you know if you have your third-person pers perspective camera max, you can actually see more? Yes. Like it's wider view. Yeah, and so, that's so a really good advantage. Both of these completely max, right? Yeah, of course. Got it. Cool, 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 cool. I thought you were going to say no for a second. I was like, wait, what? What? No, <laughs> no. It's, 
such a good event is. Dude, got it, got it. So this is huge, right? Yeah, that's got to be maxed. All right, perfect, perfect. All right, anything here in the features area do you see that's different than yours? Well, the jump climb, I have to separate. You separate like, it? Yeah, so, like, if you want to just jump and not climb, so if you want to jump shot and not climb on a wall, you can actually do that, which will make it better in, in CQC fights, so you don't accidentally climb. But do you? But you can still climb with the jump, right? Yeah, you can still. Well, there's it's separate buttons, which is like you can just click the jump to jump, and you can climb, click the climb to climb. They work separately. Got it. But but can you? But if you walk up to a window and hit jump, would it still like throw you into the window? Because I remember the last time I tried it, no, it still did no. that. Huh? No. No. It won't. Yeah. If you click jump, it will only jump. It won't climb over at all. Got it. Okay. You know what? Let's do it. Let's do it, dude. All right. So jump to climb enabled, all right? You're going to have to change in the controls then. I'll have to, change, have to mess with that a little bit, but that's fine. I can, I can always mess yeah. with that. No big deal. Okay. Ooh, spring sensitivity. Sprint sensitivity is at 90. This is... That's that's good. That's good. Right there? I've Where's yours high. at? Well, mine is at a 92, but if you play on a third base set control, having a high is good because you might sometimes miss your joystick or like unable to move it too high up your screen so if you have a high spring sensitivity you can spring you can like move way faster got it okay and we'll more on that yep. in a bit more on that for sure assist features healing prompt disabled right yep got it and auto open doors i have that off too you have auto open doors off that is like just imagine if you're hiding in a shack and you accidentally open the door and they see you holy crap that's, that's dude Maybe it was just that's meant to be, sure. bro. Maybe it was just meant to, you were meant to hit those. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Damn. So you actually have auto open doors off, just so, yeah. and just for that one scenario, I could totally see that scenario happening too, bro. <laughs> yeah. If you're a solo, you can't make any mistakes. Holy crap, dude! I'm telling you guys, competitive's another level, dude. Right? <laughs> it's another monster. All it's right, dude. Details. You know what? Auto open doors off. You know what? Gotta gotta get on it. Gotta get on it. Okay. I'm gonna turn that shit right back on, bro. I'm not gonna lie, dude. It's gonna take me forever to get used to opening doors, dude. <laughs> okay, so yeah. this I just switched to. Okay. Oh, third preset. That's right. That's right. Up. Right. That's right, dude. Right? <laughs> like and it was okay. That's where it's at. So I just switched to this recently because I got this intel from another player a little earlier. Actually, uh, Zute, you know? Um, Zute. So, dude, explain why every uh, – and, and from what I understand, and correct me if I'm wrong, a ton of pros are switching to this, right? Yeah, I recently switched too. Damn, dude, right? It's, it's, that, mm -hmm. it's that big. Okay, so explain why. Why a ton of players, when you go to your control set layout, they're going from first to the third? Well, first, I'm going to explain what the first preset does, which basically, like, you can touch anywhere on the left side of your screen, and you can move. So you can touch all the way at the top of your left side screen, and you can move. You don't have to be on your joystick, which is good, but sometimes you have no full control of your movements, and it's like you're all over the place. But if you're on third preset, you have to be on the joystick, and sometimes I make it big, so you can, like, you don't miss your joystick. And you have more control since it's one specific spot, the spot you have to click on. Makes sense. Just control. Makes sense. But then again, if you miss it, you're looking all over the place. Oh, yeah. Huh? Yep. Got um, it. That's so, actually just making it big. Mm, okay. Make so make it. Big. So, for example, guys, what he's talking about, and if you go into the game, you see your joystick right here, right? On the third control setting, like he just said, you have to make sure your thumb hits that joystick in order to move. Yep. If your finger goes off a little bit to the left, it's going to make your character look to the left, right? So you have to hit, but I guess that makes your, your thumb just always be in control, right? In that joystick. And for some reason, when I switch to this dude, it feels way faster. Like, I feel like my character's moving, like zooming yeah. way faster than ever before. I feel that. Okay. All right, cool. All right. So I'm going to, I'm going to not save. I'm just going to leave it right there. Oh, how about this? What do you feel about my layout, dude? Huh? Again, it's all subjective, right? What do you think, though? 
it seems a little unorganized, but I think it'll work. <laughs> like, I don't know why the prone button is next to the joystick, but if that's what you like to do. Well, sure. the reason, so let me tell you, the reason why I put the prone button next to the joystick, I don't know where the hell I'm going to put this, uh, this button here. Let's put it right there for now. <laughs> yeah. Right? Okay. okay. So I put the, throw, the prone button next to the joystick because I figured if I'm ever going to lay down, I don't need to use my left thumb. Oh, that's smart. Yeah. Ah! That's smart. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? It's a little different. It's a little different, right? Okay. Yeah. So everybody, from what I understand, like everybody's, you know, control layout is going to be different. And then what I plan on doing, everybody, is like getting all the control layouts from as many players as I can and then just coming out with what I feel is the best. And we got a five-finger claw player here. So if you play five fingers, then, you know, definitely – Give this man's layout a try. Okay, how about sensitivity? Dude, let's go look at sensitivity, right? So, compared, yeah. what's your third person camera view again? It's... Camera sensitivity. Sorry, 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 sorry. Oh, mm -hmm. okay. Uh, mine is at 180. 180. So, you zoom no in. Scope. Sorry, what? So, you zoom in on that, on, the, on that. Yeah. Maybe, or maybe I'm just super slow. <laughs> just like... Well, I like it fast. It just makes it more like you can flick and aim at different places and look, look much more, I guess. Got it. Badass, badass. So that 180. So, for example, if when you have it set to 180 and you do yeah. a flick mm -hmm. of your thumb, one flick, mm -hmm. right? Does your character do like a full 360? Do you know? Well, I make sure those are 180 at least. So at least a 180. It's not a full 160. 360. Yeah, it's 180. Got it. So you want to make sure that one flick of your thumb is a full 180 turnaround, right? Yeah. yeah. Got it. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. And everyone's thumb size is different, guys. So that's why when you see, like, people talk about best sensitivity, that's usually best sensitivity for them. And it really varies, like, constantly. And it, we'll hopefully do a more in-depth video on, like, differences and stuff like that. But he's helping me out right now. You guys are watching that, okay? So, um, yeah. all right. How about this, dude? Let's just hop into a TDM, and you just tell me where I'm throwing right off the bat. We'll just do a couple TDMs, right. and then we'll just go from there, okay? Got you. All right, let's do it. Okay, so first time using his new sensitivity. <laughs> let's, let's do it, okay? All right, new sensitivity. First game. Well, I suck. <laughs> put it, we were, put your- You got this, you got this. Okay, okay, all right. A lot faster, <laughs> I'm assuming. Yeah, a lot faster. Okay, but that's, so, so that's what you'd be doing though, huh? You'd just be just flicking, flicking like crazy, just full gyro, huh? Yeah, I gotta watch all angles, you know? Damn. So, so you're talking about like... I just tried to like, peek as little as possible. What was that? And I just tried, I just tried to peek as little as possible, and Team if I peek, I just go. like, do tiny peeks. Got, so you're just always like this, just like... Yeah, yeah, that's on the defensive side. The team has for the first time. I think I got what you're talking about. So just very yeah. gentle just let them with push the peeks. You. Let them push you and have your aim on their head so they'll run into a pre-fire. Like that? Yep. Got it. Nice. Interesting. Nice shot. Cover me. There you Let's go. See how we do it. Kind of liking it. Let's see what we can get into. Reloading. Hmm. Oh, miss my miss my thumb team. right there. I definitely feel like it's there's like a lot. Of, I mean, obviously there's like some uh, time that needs to happen to practice with it, right? But yeah. yeah. 
I do get what you feel as far as like when it comes to like tight holding these tight tight angles like super close like mm -hmm. this you mean Reloading. yeah like that and just have your aim at their head and be tiny bit and try to get tiny headshots and if you get a headshot push that's what I play like got it got it so you're just always going for that headshot huh yeah headshot is important that's a lot of damage Trying to get hold, of, get a hold of that crouch spam. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Nice. Oh, why does that guy keep laying down there? <laughs> Kempers, man. I think what I'm doing right there is I'm running still like pretty straight forward and I gotta get more side to side yeah. when that happens, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think even like the movement just feels like a little, it feels so fast, dude. They're preset. Oh, I fixed that guy again. Oh my gosh! Oh, man. you would have got him. Huh? You would have got him. You all right? Okay. I want to see what your sniping's like, though, too, dude. Yeah. I can send some videos. Oh my god! He, he's just gonna keep staying there. What am I doing? <laughs> all right, cool. I think what I would like to do. Especially next time, is like get a hand cam going so you can just take a look at the hand movements, you know? Yeah. I can. I, I might be able to do that. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Well, dude, so one thing I noticed is like the big difference. It's just obvious, just increase in sensitivity, right? Yeah. Like, without a doubt. It's going to take some getting used to, bro. But if you think that that is like the. Do you feel like that's pretty common, like sensitivity? Um, a lot of pros I know actually plays higher sensitivity than I do. Wow. Like, yeah, if you're on like a 90 FPS, which is really smooth, then maybe you have to turn it down a little bit. But if you're on 60 FPS, higher sensitivity is the way to go. So why are the difference in sensitivity according to the FPS? Well, it's like it responds faster. Like if you make every movement or swipe on your screen, it will be way faster and more sensitive. Interesting, interesting, okay. All right, let's see the sniping. So you flick like this, just full gyro flicks. <laughs> yeah, I try to keep it as steady as possible unless it's like a, like an enemy shooting from behind. Got, so you're just like keeping your hands super close. Team match, yep. let's go. Do you rest your arms on anything? Oh, I just rested on my, like, my lap, I guess my leg. Mm -hmm. I Am I missing? Oh. All right. Flicking with gyro is something I'm just so not used to when it comes to bolt action sniping. Target down. There you go. Clear. Ooh. Kill. Reloading. Ooh. Not too bad, I guess. I'm liking the movement. Ah! Chop on the side. No mercy. Ooh. Get it moved. So I, I I I bolt a little bit, dude. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I can see that. Okay, he's already dead. Hit those. Let's see. Three, two, one. Ah! Oh! 
Ooh. Reload? Nice. Nice shot. The iron sight. You're on the street. Okay, let's get it going. Let's get it going. I love the sense, bro. I'm actually like really liking it, bro. On the board. Yeah. Oh. It's, in the lead. it's kind of gross. Hit every shot. I feel like I maybe I've been playing it way too slow, dude. Maybe I just gotta speed her up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Oh, I thought I had him right there. All right, let's play it. Let's play it. Let's play it smooth. Let's play it smooth. You, I think you're right about me not hugging enough corners. Like, I'm just kind of sending it, right? Yeah. Oh! Oh, the slide. Nice slide there, huh? Mm -hmm. They know all sliding. This guy's just sli sliding all over the place! <laughs> He's sliding you everywhere. Sliding and gliding, bro. Oh, I missed my my button there. One stick. Come on, come on. Feel it, feel it. Nice. Be careful. You're losing the game. Dude, like so simple really to miss that thumb st stick, dude. Yeah, if you oh. have a small. What do you feel I about feel like jump shots? I feel like they're really good. Jump shots? I feel like it's good if you want to surprise your enemies, but like, most of the time if you're full HP, I wouldn't recommend to do it. I'd recommend doing it if you're low. Got so it. like, do you can catch them off surprise. Right when they're low, dude, huh? Yeah. Got it. All right, bro. So, all right. One thing I noticed, sensitivity, I feel, was way low. What did you think about the snipes? Oh, they were good. You were hitting them all. Dude, I feel like that increased sense was like, was the money, mm -hmm. was the money, dude, you know? Well, so increasing sensitivity, I think was definitely a big bonus. I'm gonna practice with it. I'm gonna practice with your sense for a little while, dude, and we'll see how that yep. kind of triggers off. But dude, first off, bro, obviously, thanks for just doing this. I think this was so sick. Maybe like, you know, further down the road, we, when we got more time, we could do like some hand can stuff, you know, and. Really get that going. But, dude, I appreciate you taking the time first off. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Badass. All right, dude. Well, where can any, where can everybody find you, dude? Where can everybody get a hold of you? Well, you can find me on Instagram at glazdonut. G-L-A-Z-D-O-N-U-T. That's so my I, Instagram. Just IG. Nope. I don't really use much, like, anything else. So. For now. Right? Mm -hmm. For now. For now. For now. For now. All right, bro. Hey, dude, thank you so much, guys. For everybody who's a fan of Ogilvy, obviously, make sure you go show your support during the PMPL. And of course, thank you for stopping by for the video. Appreciate it, class. Problem. Thank you. Thank you, bro. All right, man. Take it easy, guys. Take it easy, everybody. See ya. Also, thanks, PUBG Mobile, for sponsoring this video. See ya.